YouTube family, we have a new box. And we are super excited, guys. Check this out. This just came in today. And what I want to do is um, I ordered this right here. I kind of want it to be a secret. I didn't tell anyone. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an example of the amazing packaging provided uh, by this seller. So we got a nice box here. Plenty of tape on there. We even have some writing on there of fragile equipment. We've got a 32 pound limit and what could this be? Guys, the only thing we can do is pull out the Grinch and cut him open. I'm really excited about this package. Um, and after I get it open, I'll kind of give you, I don't even know if this thing is sharp enough. I'll give you guys some information on what this thing is, why I purchased it. Yeah, this this Grinch knife is actually super trash, but whatever. It's getting the job done just a little. Sorry for the shakes. And I do apologize, guys. I'm in my room. I live in a condo, so um, all of my pressure washing equipment is in my storage unit. And I obviously got this package sent to me at my house. So uh, I think I got that. I think I got this. Uh, here we go, guys see me open the thing I don't know how it's packaged I can assume just based on the box and we've got some good good packaging going on there all right we need more cuts no problemo got the Grinch hook I don't even know where this thing came from to be honest with you guys I have a roommate maybe it was his <laughs> don't tell him and I do apologize guys for the shaky camera but I've got one hand and I want you guys to see this live look at this more tape, guys. More tape. That I like that. I might end up having to sit you guys down. And here we go. Let's get all of the... Uh, Wowie. Uh, get all the flaps out of the way. And uh, so what we have, guys, is a package that I am 100% the most excited about ever um let me figure out how to do this i'll just do it with one hand so here we go i'm just gonna lay the parts huh all right lay the parts out because i want you guys to see this and we'll just open uh each part as we go how about that so you'll see a lot of good bubble wrap here to protect our investment. Um, so let's just dig in. And let's be careful, guys, because we don't want to mess anything up. You guys are going to bear with me. We're doing this raw and cut. Um, hopefully we're not too shaky. I have a image stabilization turned on. And you're going to see some shadows and that kind of stuff. Um, you guys got to let me know. Do you want to see me open packages or do you want to see the package once it's open? If you will, comment down below. Um, I'm not new to YouTube by any means, but I'm new to opening pressure washing products. Because that is exactly what we have here. Let me use my other hand. All right, guys, and we got some quality bubble wrap not that cheap stuff this is the original cushion 27 square feet this is a good stuff snap crackle what is what is this? oh my goodness guys what are we opening oh here we go is this called great packaging or what hopefully i don't there we go I'm being careful but i'm excited so i'm being a little ratchet too you know all right, guys. Oh, man. So check this out, people. I am so excited. Wow. Maui. Wowie. So for those of you who don't know yet, what we are looking at is the top half of... Uh, let me see. Again, we're doing this with one hand. So... Patience. 
all that cool stuff. No bad comments in the comment section. Look at this, guys. And here we are. We're looking at an Everflow five and a half gallon, half inch NPT ports pump here. Let me kind of show you guys. This is the pump output. Okay, so included here, because you'll see on the pump, there is no port there. So we've got some True Blue already up in there, and it looks like that might come from the manufacturer. Um, and then we have included a beautiful, get it in the middle here, beautiful stainless steel pump output with this indicator tag on there. So big props, guys. So let me go ahead and tell you, I was on the market for, obviously, a soft wash system, and I'm searching around. I'm looking at all the big... Uh, producers, um, powerwash.com, pressuretech.com, um, heck, Southeast Soft Wash, Arkansas Pressure Washing, Texas Pressure Washing, all the pressure washing companies. Got to give a big shout out to, to Russ here in Kentucky. Um, he has a really nice Arroyo uh, system. All of the South, uh, soft wash systems that those guys provide, I mean, they are premium. They are beautiful. They work really well. Beautiful construction. I like, I'm just kind of into this stuff. Um, the thing was, is I'm on a budget and I had to put myself on a budget because I'm the type, if I don't, I will just spend and spend and spend. And what I want to do with my business um, is I want the business to make its own money to improve and get better equipment. So I'm trying to get the right type of equipment for the best price now so that when I do want to upgrade my equipment, I know that it has been paid for uh, by the business instead of my nine to five. So what we have here, guys, is, as you'll see, a 60 PSI, 5.5 gallon a minute Everflow pump directly connected to the manifold here. Water, soap, Kim. And this is a this uses the Pentair valves. I've never used the Pentair valves, um, but you know you guys see a lot of those. There are more expensive uh, valving systems or whatever. Um, but I fell in love with uh, number one the build quality of this thing and the owner uh, or the guy that that produces these things. His name is Sean out of Alexander out of uh, Michigan, and um, so I was just kind of fumbling on YouTube and. Uh, you know, just Google in general, looking for a soft wash system. So I named all those other uh, makers and things like that. And I literally stumbled upon this thing, man. It was just, I guess, YouTube algorithm got sick and tired of me seeing the same old videos and the same old people. And Sean popped up on my uh, Instagram or uh, on my YouTube. And it was funny because he had only made one video um, and it was like not even a month before. So that was really cool that I was able to find uh, find this thing. So You'll see it's plumbed right in. I really like how he's made modifications to this system, and I'll put it all together here and kind of give you, uh, you know what, let's do that. Let's put it together and give you details, and um, yeah, we'll just go forward. So what we have here is here are the contents within. We have, try to grab them by whatever is on top. Ugh. So here it goes. This looks like it's the one-fourth inch tube, and it looks like he has... Use heat, which is very important because this poly, reinforced poly braid, it ain't moving without heat. Maybe some WD-40 or something like that. And we have the uh, filter down here. This is obviously the Kim line. That's going to go in the middle on this thing here. Uh, and here's the deal, guys. This obviously came like this. Um, And yeah, man, I mean, it's just, it's super cool. Um. So there's the Kim line. Uh, it looks like here we have again another indicator. Use heat. <laughs> ah, nice. So we got the water only right here. Excellent. So not only are all of these parts provided, you know, there's great instruction here. All the hose clamps, everything. So I'm showing you guys this as it's received. Okay, we've got a third. Um, again, use heat, hose clamp. And this one is the 
bleach. And there is none that I can see bleach filter on there, but he does provide a bleach filter. He's been told, um, you know, not to put one on because they can screw things up, but he does provide you, it looks like, with maybe a bleach filter. Um, yeah, but I'll get it put together and uh, we'll go uh, forward from there. So this looks like this would be, oh no, never mind, guys, I'm sorry. So no, there's no filter for the bleach. It looks like this would screw. I don't know if it's righty tighty or if it's lefty loosey. Reverse threads. Oh, original threads. Okay. So we screw that on. So now your water is filtered with a very very hefty filter there. And then get this stuff out of the way. I do apologize my filming skills. And this box here is just for reinforcement of the packaging. There's more tubing in here. And what this does is depending on the size of my tank, um, I can extend. Of course, most um, bleach tanks, this is the uh, quarter inch. Most bleach tanks are, you know, the smaller tanks. You might get a 30 30 gallon bleach, uh, bleach tank. A lot of times it's five gallon, seven gallon, or people even, you know, put the, the bleach tube directly into, you know, the product it itself. So, um, I don't need an extender there, but what I do have is there's probably some sort of connectors to, um, connect. Let me, the, the poles together, I assume. I'm just looking in the box right now. I don't hear anything shaking. I don't see anything there. We'll just go further through it. And uh, this might be a little bit. Oh, it's not. Okay, I thought it'd be heavier than that. And here we have the. I don't want to. I don't know what the bottom of this thing is like. Let's look and see. Okay, so we have um, rubber rubber feet here at the bottom when my youtube channel is big enough guys i will have a cameraman so please like subscribe do all that kind of cool stuff share because i'm bringing it to you guys raw and it'll just be that much better if i could afford to pay somebody to record this stuff as i disassemble or you know assemble something so Right here, guys, this would be the base of the madness. Uh, I think I could just pull this, and that'll come through. Hopefully, we're not too shaky, YouTube. I apologize to you guys. Um, this here is a battery box. All right. Going to be uh, some instructions there. So, there goes the battery box here. So, what we would do... We got dual washers either side, nut on the back, some screws there. So that part is going to attach to this top part. And I'm going to try to do that without driving you guys crazy. Oh, wait a minute, I got a candle right here. Maybe I can sit you up. You guys are going to see all kinds of stuff. So let me set you up on the candle. Yeah, you should be pretty good there. Um, let me undo these if I can with my hand, and I can. Excellent. Same thing here. Hopefully you can still hear me. I do have my Bluetooth on, so you should be able to hear me. Now I'm going to place the top half onto the bottom half. Should go right on there. This on here, and get this on here. There you go. I'm not gonna worry about putting these on yet. I just kind of wanted you guys to get a look. So once I, uh, there we go. So battery is on here. Lock that down, and then of course we need to strap it up. Blah, blah, blah. 
Um, so let me bring you guys back over. Okay, guys, so here is the system. Uh, and this is the full system. Um, this thing is beautiful. Um, here we have off. And then we're going to turn it all the way up to full blast when you want to full blast that. Um, I'm ridiculously excited. You see the battery terminals here with the hose barb. Negative, positive, that's all self-explanatory uh, stuff. The on-off switch is here, heavy-duty, marine-grade stuff. Um, let me give you a look. Because I think it's, uh, you know, the, all these details are very important. This is put in here with some nice, nice uh, stainless steel screws. Um, it's been painted very nicely. Thick, it looks like 10-gauge wiring. Um... Nice and screwed down again, but stainless steel screws. Everything has been zip tied on, clipped down to the bottom. Got a nice sturdy base right here. This thing is bulletproof, guys. Um, so I am super excited, and it's funny, guys. So I was on the market for a software system. I'll kind of get back to it. And I stumbled upon this unit. He was like basically demonstrating what it looks like. And kind of talking about it and in my humble opinion um i think he downplayed this uh this system more than he should have um <laughs> i don't know how long he's been in the pressure washing business but i don't see why this system he he he's obviously a humble guy and when he was talking about this system he spoke of it as if you if you're a professional, you probably wouldn't want this system. Something like that. Uh, Sean, if you do happen to see this video, please get on and, and kind of comment on how you feel about it. But I've seen a lot of these systems, guys. And I, I mean, a lot of this professional quote unquote systems, number one, you get a pump, you, um, you know, you'll get the mounting unit, whatever, you know, that looks like and things like that. Um, some offer, um, you know, a hose reel, uh, and some don't. And in a video that Sean put out on YouTube, he compared this thing to like maybe uh, the unit by, uh, Northern tool. Uh, you get it. I think it has like a 11 or 13 gallon tank hooked on. It has a four gallon a minute, uh, pump on it. Uh, I think 75 feet of like the poly braid heavy, crappy hose and you know a wand and stuff like that and and i think that this is in a completely different stratosphere than that system uh number one this comes with uh, the metering valves um if you were to get online uh, there's a company that i almost bought this from because i was thinking about doing a, a D diy building uh, building my own system um and as i'm looking up these these valve units themselves um they were going for the cheapest one I found was like three hundred fifty dollars just for that. Um, you know, so uh, when you consider that you're going to get a, you know, let's 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 uh, let's call this three fifty. And then these pumps, uh, they range anywhere from a hundred and the five and a half gallons. You know, Amazon has games that they play. So let's say one twenty five here. So we're already at what three fifty. 375 475 just for uh, the two items right and then when you consider um you know battery boxes they aren't that expensive let's call this 10 15 bucks so now we're at um heck practically 500 um and then you consider uh, like something like this what do these go for i think i looked these up they're like 15 bucks um and then when you consider the fact that you get the three um tubes and fittings and things like that and then it's all put together for you at a price i paid 825 dollars delivered to my house I, i'm sorry guys i just i think it is more uh, than worth that price i can't find a five and a half gallon per minute um self wash system that includes the three drop sticks that includes the three valve system um, for under, heck, the cheapest one that I know of right now is by um, a good 
pressure washing guy down in, uh, where's he at, down in Texas, uh, Doug Rucker. Uh, Doug Rucker has what is called the Soft E, and it's going on sale. It's usually like $1,350. Uh, on sale, it's still $1,150. So that was um, $300 more than this unit, and it comes with out any of the uh, dropsticks, any of that. Um, it does have the valving system, but uh, number one, it only has two valves. So you're looking at the water and the chem. It doesn't have the soap valve. To some people, that's not a big deal. I love surfactant because every time I use surfactant, um, I always get compliments from the neighbors um, and you know the homeowner about how good it smells. I don't know if they expect it to stink like bleach. Um, or just to smell funny or whatever. But I remember the first time I used surfactant, I couldn't believe how good it smelled. So, um, I always prefer a three valve system. So this again is $300 less than what I could have uh, gotten uh, from Doug Rucker. And uh, to be honest with you, I think it's a better looking system. Uh, Doug's system is number one, it's shorter. Um, but I just don't, I don't know. Is this something about it? It looks like it might've been thrown together, um, and I'm not knocking his system just for me. Aesthetics matter. I think looking at this thing, I think it's beautiful. You can take this thing. I mean, it's not heavy, especially without a battery in it. I don't want to lift it up and throw it around, but it's not heavy. You got to, um, I mean, the shipping weight was 32 pounds, so it's probably 30 pounds. Um, so I can move this uh, anywhere, but this I, I can straight up, you know, uh, strap it down to uh, my trailer or I might do an enclosed um, trailer or, or a van. So I'm just building things as we go, guys. So I think that is pretty much it. I got to figure out how to get these um, these um, drop sticks put together. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, okay. I see it. Yeah, there's two little things to put it together. So Cool, man. There you go. Um, so check out uh, Apex Pressure Cleaning here on YouTube. His name is Sean Alexander. Uh, he was great to work with, guys. He um, After I spoke to him on YouTube, uh, or maybe, yeah, I spoke to him, I think, on YouTube first. And then I got on his uh, Facebook and he hit me up and sent me his phone number and was instantly you know, interested in answering any questions that I had. He didn't shy away from anything. Um, and I love the fact that uh, he was completely honest. Like when he posted the first two, um, he was all about making modifications and I'll show you that while I'm thinking about it. Oh, and you got the, the fuse back there. It's probably a 30 amp fuse. Um, like, so when he built his first model and this is, a, a, in my opinion, a, an upgraded model, um, he was having, I guess, some issues with, uh, the pump closing down on this tube right here. Um, so what he did was he re-engineered the thing. He went and, you know, purchased or made this thing uh, to keep the hose from collapsing as the pump, um, you know, does its, uh, does its job. So I think that was pretty cool. We got some nice stainless steel, uh, holders here for, uh, and I've seen people, you know, with their systems and these things are kind of flopping around. I mean, that's on there nice and sturdy. Um, look, you got four bolts, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, unscrew here. Um, I believe the base uh, stays and it slides right off, man. So any pump issues, put a new one on there and I'll be done with this sucker. So uh, guys, I absolutely love this thing. I cannot wait to use it. So what I'm going to do and, you know, and some people are going to say, oh, well, it doesn't. So at $850, I'm going to get a general pump um, um, hose reel. Uh, the one that I want is 250 basically, right? Um, so we'll be at eleven hundred dollars and I'm going to get, um, you know, obviously a pressure washing uh, or a soft wash hose. Those are going for about two hundred dollars. I want the Flexilla. Um, so even after the, you know, the unit itself, um, the hose reel that puts me at eleven hundred dollars, um, the hose let's say $200, a little less, but I'll say 200, that's 1300. Um, and I've actually already got my, my gun I'm using to bring you guys around. And some of you guys are going to say, no way, no way, but this is true. 
I reached out to, now my bed's a mess. Any of you guys uh, like bow hunt? <laughs> I'm a nerd. Um, so I reached out to a good friend down there at, um, I call him a good friend. He doesn't know who the hell I am. Uh, but down in te uh, Texas pressure washing, uh, Heath Phelps. Uh, I've read the guy's book. Um, I've been following these guys for years now. Um, and I finally made the made the choice to go ahead and start my company and start washing. So I reached out to Heath. I said, Heath, there's a gun that I'm in love with. I want to use this thing on my soft wash system. It, you know, it's only a one pump uh, system, uh, 12 volt, blah, blah, blah. Can I use the white wash down gun and Heath was like hell yeah buddy you can so we're super excited I'm going to be soaking up houses left and right we're coming after your roof so if you got a dirty roof you better go hide <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in please like share um this video Sean I hope you like uh, what I've done here I've made a mess out of my room for you guys and uh yeah guys I won't be using this thing for a while so this will be the last video you see uh see of it it's freezing cold here in Louisville Kentucky well today wasn't so bad but it's winter time you know um so I won't be washing I won't be using this thing if I'm lucky until like late February man it gets nasty it's rainy it's windy it's disgusting so March is kind of uh, the date that I'm shooting for I just wanted to go ahead and have all of my equipment ready guys um for you know when the washing season uh begins and uh We'll be right. Look, hold on, guys. What? What? And I, you know what? Big shout out to my dude down at a Little's Pressure Washing. He's a he's a shoe guy, man. So he's all about his you know his Dunks and his Jordans. So you know, I mean, that's just the way it goes. You got your car mines. You got to have some car mines. You know what I mean? We want to show shoes off real quick. I don't know why I'm doing. Look, you got to have a couple pair of Yeezys. You got to have some Yeezys. What else we got down here? Well. <laughs> He might laugh at these old school Easter egg KDs, right? <laughs> uh, nice, nice. But okay, guys, that's it, man. Hope you guys uh, love the system. And uh, let me know what you think.